Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Sport, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3.0-litre SD V6 HSE automatic. 2015 on a 15 plate, has done 51,511 miles. Fuel economy, urban 35.8 miles per gallon, extra urban 44.1 miles per gallon, and combined is 40.4 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 6.8 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles an hour, out of a six cylinder, 302 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. Road tax is fairly cheap too. Six months is £173.25 and 12 months is £315. Has the black pack, got the black side vents, the, the black bonnet vent, black grille, high pressure headlamp wash. Here we go, we've got cameras in the front there, cameras in the door mirrors, a reversing camera too. It allows you to see as you're pulling out of a side road or also the curbs. Front fog lamps here. The alloy wheels are, are kind of five triple spoke, uh, diamond cut with dark silver. The outside spokes are diamond cut and the, the centre one is, is kind of dark silver. We've just had them professionally re refurbished the strip dipped, uh, resprayed, and diamond cut again, so that they're like brand new. We've got keyless lock. Just touch the button there as you're getting out. Power folding door mirrors. When you come back to the car, if you just put your hand behind the handle there and open the door, as long as you've got the key on you, of course. We've got these the sill protectors, the bottom of the door protectors. They're colour coded too. Uh, I, don't know whether I mentioned it's Aruba Gold Metallic, lovely colour. We've got the full glass panoramic roof. This one's the extra, the electric tilt and slide, so that the front bit will tilt up or move all the way back. Great feature on the Range Rover. Rear privacy glass, got the integrated rear tailgate spoiler. It's uh, power open, power close tailgate too, works from the key. Reversing camera in the back there, and this, this is the switch to knock it down. Nice flat load area. This car's got a full-size spare wheel too. 60-40 uh, split folding rear seats. You've also got the roller blind rear load cover and the heavy duty rubber mat in the back. Rear parking sensors. That's the uh, reversing camera there. Now, it's, it's got an autobiography um, badge on the back here, which uh, it's not an autobiography. Somebody's stuck it on the back. So you can either take it off or leave it on, whatever you want to do. Twin chrome exhaust tips and uh, kind of a, a little diffuser in the middle. Oops. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get my feet on the mat there. Um, lovely inside, absolutely, I think it's ivory, the, the colour. It's really beautiful, it's like new in the back, it's got the um, full carpet over mats. This, uh, you've got the outside seats are heated. Isofix rear child seats, anchor points, the three inertia reel belts, the lovely glass panoramic uh, sunroof. It's, it's really nice, nice light, airy interior, beautiful car. I'll just take you for riding it. So that's the uh, key there, the Range Rover key, as I say, it's keyless, uh, keyless start, keyless entry, put your foot on the brake, press the start button and that's it, away it goes, just shut that. Service history, real good service history on this car, 19th of 4, 2016. 10,025 miles Lancaster Land Rover, 31st of 3rd, 2017 at 19,067 miles, 
Lloyd Land Rover. 22nd of the 3rd, 2018 at 27,095 miles. Lloyd Land Rover. 21st of the 3rd, 2019, 32,414 miles. Lloyd Land Rover. 10th of the 3rd, 2020 at 41,403 miles. Lloyd Land Rover. 9th of the 3rd, 2021. 46,068 miles Lloyd Land Rover. So real, real good service history and it's done. Oh, where's it gone now? Done 51,511 miles. Um, so probably just ready for a service and we'll do that. Front central armrest there as well real nice looking car this beautiful day today I'll, I'll just show you the cameras a bit a bit of a gimmick really but as you can see there if you I'll, I'll show you when we're pulling out but if you just click that it gives you another the curb view and that's probably the most important thing there you can see the wheel there <laughs> don't scratch these alloy wheels because it's just cost us 550 pounds to have them fully refurbished. Um, so as I say, they are, they are like brand new. But th that's the cameras. I'll, I'll shut, uh, let's just, I'll just shut this blind so you can see the cameras better when we're going out. So that's, that's the curb view. So I'll click the arrow and we want to see junction view. This, this is the, the bit there you go, as you're pulling out, you can see over there and what's coming on the, on the road. I still don't trust them. I still, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust them and I would never use them, but they're there if you want them. And we'll just put it on nav. Uh, there you go, that's just showing the map view. And then make the most of this lovely sunny day. We'll put the shade band back there we go that's tilt that's all the way back i'll put it back again it, it'll uh, play havoc with the audio if i leave it open and i would probably also freeze to death today what a what a beautiful day really is All the roads churned up there. It was churned up last summer when we had our one hot day and the tractors were turning in and out of this field. Um, pulled it all up. Just, you can just see something shiny on the top of that fell. I'm wondering what it is. Might have to send, send the drone up and have a look. Anyway, right, back to the car. Favourite cars, love driving them. It's just, it, it's as comfortable as you can get in a car, I think. It really is. Best driving position, beautiful suspension. Tires, Range Rover haven't made the mistake of, of making the, the tires too low profile. You see some of these conversions and, and they make me feel ill. Um, they, they look like there's a rubber band on the alloy wheel and I know it'll, it'll be awful uh, I've said it in other vehicles you, you, nobody can improve Range Rovers when, they, when they're finished when they all sit back and go that's it just leave it don't put any wheel arches on or, or bigger wheels or mess about with the interior just leave it. it. It's as good as it gets. Accessories on this car. So we've got, as I mentioned before, the tilt and slide glass roof, which is a, an extra. We've got heated steering wheel, which is brilliant. Only costs a few hundred quid, but honestly, the, uh, in the winter, it's an absolute godsend.
Oops. <laughs> so guess who pressed the wrong switches then? So there you go, you, you click these two switches or just click on the power folding door mirrors. We've got electric height and reach adjustable steering wheel, three position electric memory seats. I'm just wondering about these cameras bouncing about, hopefully the uh, The stabilisation will make the footage viewable. So there we go, we've just beeped certain death corner. Coming around here the other day, there was three big vans coming and there's also some, some pedestrians, some walkers there. So there's a bit of a bottleneck. Just effortless power. You never feel like driving fast. You, you enjoy your ride. You enjoy the comfort. And I, I've got to say, when, whenever I'm in a Range Rover, I always try to drive just that bit better, just that bit smoother, anticipate braking so you don't have to just let the car come to a halt itself it's a compromise using a, a big car like this of course use more fuel you're bound to but you're safer and you're more comfortable so it's it's the difference between paying for a taxi to the airport or paying for a limousine to the airport. It's, it's how you get there and your enjoyment. Front and rear parking sensors, got high pressure headlamp wash, heated front screen, which again, worth its weight in gold. Big front centre armrest and for some reason I've always I've always used these I've always had these get over there mate for goodness sake I don't know I've always used these armrests and, and they are adjustable and I suppose if you drive like that or if you're perhaps thinner than me then it's it's good but they do make you struggle to put your seatbelt on. And when they're back there, you've got this lovely armrest here. More padded, not, not, as, not as uncomfortable on your elbow. You've got that there and that there. It just, it's just a bit like being in a Parker Knoll recliner. It always surprises me the the, uh, the people who drive Range Rovers, and when I come to do the memory seat Russian roulette, I'm just such a lovely big car. Well, in fact, we'll we'll do it here. I, I've not checked them. I've I've moved my driver's position. I don't think I, I entered it into the memory, but I'll I'll just. I actually feel a bit high at the moment. So we'll just go in the shade here and then put it in park. Memory three. Goodness me. Now, I, I promise you, I, I haven't changed these. So that's that's where the the first, sorry, the third person that drove it must have short legs and perhaps long arms. Position two. God, I, 
that's very straight up that. Uh, position one, now did I change it for me? I can't remember. I could well have done because I, I could actually drive in that position but let's just go a bit further back, that's it. So into drive. You can put it in sport, hold you in gear longer. It's in that. Three litre diesel engine. I think you can't go wrong with a diesel engine. You just can't. Very, very forgiving. Good for lazy drivers. You don't have to change gear as much. Let's just get. Fancy just meeting somebody, just where there's a big puddle. I could have got away without getting this car washed again today if, if it hadn't been for that. Because <laughs> the roads are quite dry. I suppose I could have always stopped, couldn't I? So that's in sport. You can also, you've got paddle shift here or command shift selected there. As I say, two tons, get it back in drive. That was a cattle grid. Sometimes in some of the cars you come with the low profile tyres and go over a cattle grid, you go Brrr. <laughs> It's like, almost like I'm getting an electric shock. It uh, just so comfortable. Just trying to think. So we've got colour coded the the sill protectors and the bottom of the door protectors colour coded. Um, what else? I mean, it's it's quite funny really because when computers or garages first got computers or we first got a computer ours was an Amstrad something or other and um, I used to type out a stock list because people used to come and a lot of people are frightened to come to a garage in case the salesman pounces on you know you, you go in courage can I help you at all I'm just looking uh, are you looking for anything in particular no I'm just looking uh, well, give me a shout, I'll just be stood over there if you want me. And then, you know, you, and no doubt, I think everybody's like me. Occasionally, we get somebody who will come in, we leave people to look round when they do come in. We leave people to look round. And then you can usually tell if they want a salesman, they'll, they'll look up, they'll look for you. If they don't want you, they'll make sure they don't make eye contact and just keep looking around. We leave them alone. Occasionally, you get somebody who come in and say, I've been looking around these cars for, for 10 minutes and, and nobody's nobody's asked me I understand that we always say hello don't get me wrong we you know we always acknowledge people it's the people who don't acknowledge you and ignore you they're they're the the worst ones I used to type out when the people used to come and, and they used to look through the windows at night and so on and look around the cars so I used to type out a, a sheet for every car and what they had and uh, I think when we, we got our first computer, we had stuff like Chevette's in. Well, the Chevette ES has nothing. It has an engine and a gearbox. It, it was vinyl seats, it was vinyl floor. I don't think there was even a heated rear windscreen. So you, you got like Vauxhall Chevette ES, duck egg, <laughs> duck egg blue, whatever color it was called. That, that's what it looked like. Um, Starling egg blue <laughs> with rust on um, and now I'm in this Range Rover it's full of oh it's got Bluetooth hands-free Bluetooth audio streaming but when I'm writing out the ads now I still struggle to think of um, stuff to put about the, the, the car so, and, and nowadays people don't come to your forecourt they just go on the internet and they can see your stock sheet then so uh, I just wish I'd paid more attention at, uh, in English, <laughs> in M Mrs. Cheston's class, who said I'd never amount to much. 
And she was absolutely right. <laughs> that woman had vision. It's a, it's a lovely co colour combination. And I, I think it's quite rare, really. We, we, we've had a few in this colour, but not many. Silvers, blacks and greys, mostly. We've got, we've got three Range Rovers in at the moment. We've got uh, a proper autobiography. Um, this, which has got an autobiography badge on, but is a HSA. And then we've got another HSA, so we've got a grey autobiography, a ruby gold HSA, and we've also got a white HSA. All, uh, all really nice cars. Um, anybody who's watched the, the videos over the last couple of years will know we've kind of we've been trying to move towards Range Rovers and Jaguars. Oh, we've got a lovely Jaguar XF in it too. Um, we've been trying to move towards British products. I actually think they're far superior. There's not many left proper, but these are the best car on the road. As I say, every every time I use my GoPros, they remind me why I don't want an electric car. This one today wouldn't connect to my iPhone. That's how you set them up, the, the actual view. Um, the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to your iPhone, and then you use the screen of your iPhone to set them up. Couldn't connect it. I used it on Friday, it was fine. Um, on Friday, all five of my GoPros switched off at the same time <laughs> for, for, no, for no reason. Um, and, and I just think, and these two of them, these two of my GoPro 9s, when I have to update them, they have intelligent batteries, supposedly. When I have to update them, one of them, I couldn't update, it would not update. And, and I just, I changed the battery over and it updated. So there must be some problem with the battery on that particular GoPro. Just imagine that in your car. Your car relies on a, a whole tray of electric batteries that have to be squashed. They have to be compressed into a sandwich because the batteries otherwise would actually deform. If they weren't compressed, they would deform. And as I've said before, this is my third Apple Watch. My other two, the faces blew off because the battery expanded and, and just blew the face off. The last one, it, it, it blew off with some force. <laughs> I've, I've got to be honest, it woke, it, it woke me up. And that, that's electric cars. It's got to be. And uh, Very kind of you. Just, just stop right where there's a mullet on the other side of the road to take out the whole side of your car. And diesel engines. And you know, if anything does go wrong on them, you, you can recondition them. And you see Range Rovers, 50 year old Range Rovers now knocking about. And they're bringing a fortune. You've got these, they'll go through 35 inches of water. They'll go over everything. Um, when I, actually, I, I wish I'd taken a photograph now, but when I came the other day, it, it was lashing down and had been for about a week. And uh, there's a, a field up here, and there's a farmer working in the field. It's all muddy and churned up. And he was just in his defender. He just, he'd just driven in. Now, I, I can't think 
of any other car that I would actually, any other four wheel drive, I'd, I'd probably have a go on this, but I can't think of any, any other <laughs> four wheel drive vehicle that I would go into that field in. Oh, we've got heated seats too. If you click that switch, I don't know why they haven't just, I mean, they've already used a switch. Why not just use a switch and use it to click three times so that you know where, what heat setting you're on. But you've got to click the switch and then you've got to go up here to your touch screen. And then as you're going over all these bumps, you're, you're trying to do a Bernie the Bolt and choose your heat setting. I suppose once it's on, can you do that? Yep. Do the passenger one and the climate, climate control. Click on climate there. You can direct the airflow where you want it. You can also, your heated screen, you've got settings there. Click on settings, auto power, low, medium, and high, and auto heated screens on. So I, I would suggest you do that. great radio lovely sound system and somebody asked me the other day um, one of the questions uh, we have a, a BMW X6 with Harman Kardon speakers in and we have Range Rovers that some of them have Meridian speakers in this one hasn't but some of them do and they asked me which I thought was best the Meridian speakers in the Range Rover or the Harman Kardon speakers in the BMW. And I actually think the Harman Kardon speakers in the BMW are better, but they have to be. Um, and you don't actually get the full enjoyment out of it because there's so much noise in, the, in, in them with the, the run flat tires and the end sport suspension that you don't really, unless you stood still, you don't get the benefit from them. So I finished the test drive there. Absolutely beautiful car, inside and out. Great colour scheme. There's a good example of somebody taking up five parking spaces. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.